Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. This is part 7 of how to build a job board using Django and Vue. In this part I'm going to make it possible to communicate between a job seeker and an employer. So first I'm going to make it possible to click on this job. Right now I'm signed in as an employer. So I want to click the job to see the details. So if I go to the code and open up dashboard.html I want to make it possible to click here to see the job. So I can just make the link first. A A G R F URL view dashboard job and then I pass in job.id like that and then I can close the link behind here. If I try to update now this will crash because we haven't created this view yet. So I can just copy the name of the view and then go to the files and inside here in the user profile, I want to create a new file view dashboard job.html. I guess I can just copy some of the code here, paste it view job and then job.title just so that I know that I'm on the correct job and block. Next, I need to create a view for this, so then I go into views.py. You have to be authenticated to see this view, therefore I need to add the login required decorator. Def view dashboard job request and then I pass in the job ID. The job I get by saying get object or 404 job primary key is job ID and I also want that only you can get this job, so therefore I also need to add created by equals request, sorry, request.user. So if you try to access a job by ID and you are not the one who created it, you will get a 404 error. Also need to import this model, you can do it up here with the application because it's inside job.models. Then I can return and render this. Return render request user profile view dashboard job.html and then I pass in the job and save. Next step now is to import the URL for this. Append it behind there. Path job slash integer job ID view dashboard job and give it the name view dashboard job and save. So now the URL will be dashboard slash job and then the job ID. So if I now refresh I should be able to click this and see view job first job. Perfect. Before I continue I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Here I want a list of applications, the one who have applied to the job. To do this, I just go back to view dashboard job and then I create a loop here for application in job.applications.all and for then I create the link for this. I can copy this from the dashboard because it's going to be exactly the same as an employer, no, as a job seeker sees. Like that. And save. Actually, I should print the name of the user here. Application.createdby.get full name. Save. Fresh. Okay, why isn't this working? Okay, I need to change this to username because the job seeker doesn't have a first name yet. Refresh, and now we see job seeker here. Perfect. So if I now click this, I get page not found because in here, view application, I am not the one who created this job. So here I need to check first if I am the employer. If 
request.user.userprofile.is employer then application sorry I can just do this If you're a job seeker, you will go here as usual, but up here I need to change this to job created by equals requested user. So this refers to the job field on the application and then it's dash dash to get the created field refresh. So now I get this application up here because I was the one who created the job. Perfect. So below here, I want to have a conversation. So now I need a new model to keep track of the messages. I can add, I can add these inside the models for the user profile. Plus conversation message, pass in models dot model. And the first reference here, I want to use the first reference I need is the reference to the application. So therefore the application equals models dot foreign key application related sorry related name equals conversation messages on delete models dot cascade. So when we delete a convert no when we delete application we also delete the messages. But to use this I need to import this model from apps.job.models import application. Also you need a couple of other fields like content models.text field. This is the message itself and who created it created by equals models dot foreign key user we already imported this up here related name is conversation messages on delete models dot cascade and we also want to field for created at so we know when the message was sent models dot date time field auto now add equals true and I want to add a meta class here so we can change the default ordering class meta ordering created at which is which will give us the newest message at the bottom and save inside the view application below here I can say HR oops I see I have a typo here from the last experience like that add a line here just to separate this info and the conversation h2 class subtitle conversation and here I can loop through the messages for message in application dot conversation messages dot all and for so this field refers to this one so we can get them reversed because this is a foreign key but before I continue I just want to update the database so we have done that python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py migrate and then I can just run the server again and then as a div class notification and I can say the name first message dot created by dot username and then when it was sent message dot created at time since is a filter ago and on the next line I print the message message dot content okay below here I want to add a form where we can 
sent the message form method is post action is the same page we are on first add the csrf token for security csrf token and then i want the field for the content div class field div class sorry class control text area class text area placeholder is your message name content id id content and then we close the text area the field is closed and we can add a submit button div class field div class control button class button is success so it's nice and green submit or send and save so if i now refresh you will see conversation but there are no messages yet we can print that out just so we know that empty that is if this list is empty p no messages yet great can add a line here as well just to separate this a little bit great so now i need to change the back end a little bit to check if this was submitted so i go back to views.py and inside the view application i can check here if request dot method equals post then i know the form was submitted content equals request dot post dot get content and if content just to check if that it actually exists i create a new conversation message conversation message equals conversation message dot objects object sorry create and then i need to pass in the application content and who it was created by application is the same as up here the content is the one we get from the form and created by is request dot user and when it is submitted we can return the user return redirect application no sorry the url is view application and we need to pass in the application id which you get from up here like that so i just need to import this and then we can test everything from dot models import conversation message and i need to import the redirect shortcut as well save so now we can refresh test message send so yes now employer 3 sent this message zero minutes ago and now log out and log in with the job seeker and i go to dashboard go to my first application i see that the employer sent me a message i do you do send perfect so now this was sent zero minutes ago and this was also zero minutes ago and now we have the possibility to talk to each other perfect i will make this better as we go along with notifications we will get up here when you have new messages and similar but that was it for this part i hope you liked it and if you did please click like below and share it with your friends see you next time